Hi guys, welcome back to the kitchen, the new kitchen. Uh, it's a little bit uh, larger than it was before. I'll give you a little uh, 360 pan around. There's the ice man, but uh, there's a uh, full 360 of the kitchen. And uh, welcome back to Giant Foods. Now we've had a uh, sponsorship one, and I actually recorded this a while back, but uh, had some issues with the files, so I'm gonna record it again, and uh, it's gonna be a, a way to bring it in. Uh, we're doing the uh, mac and cheese bowl from KFC. And of course, you know, we're gonna make it gigantic. We got a uh, big case of macaroni and cheese here. We got our uh, mozzarella cheese from on top, and we also have some boneless chicken bites here. Um, now these are honey barbecue, whereas the KFC version is not flavored. But uh, I thought, well, let's kick it up a notch and let's just go ahead and use some uh, honey barbecue. So uh, let's go ahead and put this gigantic mac and cheese bowl together. guys so um i hope you guys enjoy the new kitchen because uh i enjoy it a lot and uh, we put a lot of work hard work into this mr pool helped and a few other people help along the uh way and great ideas come in and this is what we're left with and it's a uh, it's a better environment to cook in we have a the triangle the triangle of perfection which is how they say you're supposed to lay your kitchen out so you got your sink you got your stove and you have your refrigerator so you have the trifecta plus we got multitudes of cabinet space and uh, lots of counter space to prepare. We have the world's largest island. Um, it's uh, like eight feet by yeah. seven feet. It's gigantic. Um, yes. So it gives us lots of places for giant foods to spread them out. Um, unfortunately, this kitchen does feel a little empty because we uh, lost some celebrities this year. We lost Anderson and we lost Mercedes. Um, but we do have Marty still. Uh, he's clowning around out in there. He's never. He was never really a photogenic type of dog like Anderson was, but uh, anyways, let's get back to uh, what was the task at hand here. We got the uh, the members mark. We got the uh, honey barbecue, and this is a uh, three and a half pound bag. This thing's probably gonna beat me up. How much one bet? It's not gonna want. It's not gonna want to function. Mr. Pool with the uh, clutch here. We got the push uh, the button. Little push the button. All right, here we go. So, uh, had to use the Iceman's knife to get this open. But uh, that's what those look like, big and chunky. And, uh, you know how the killer rolls. We're just gonna go ahead and put this all on there because it's three and a half pounds. It's barbecued, and it's chicken, and it's boneless, and it's it's just delicious. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get this organized out here. Now I did price this to try to actually make my own chicken bites. But when I priced the bag of this at Sam's Club and priced out the ingredients and the chicken and everything to make it myself, it was about three times the amount. So this is what you're left with. So this goes in the oven 18 minutes, 400. We're going to go ahead and pop that in. Now for the mac and cheese, we didn't even cheap out. We went with the good stuff. The good stuff. Now what's funny is uh, I actually prefer like generic macaroni and cheese in the spiral variety. But uh, KFC uses just a regular, regular elbow noodle, so we went with an elbow noodle. I actually bought a case quantity of this stuff. Um, the big box there, big, like a big box of it. Um, we've got seven boxes here, which I think is uh, made, I think is going to be around, um, if I'm not mistaken, I think it doubles in size. So these are like a pound a box by the time you actually make them, so you end up with about seven pounds. Speaking of the, uh, the goose, there he is. The lone wolf, Mr. Bull, the lone wolf. The last of the Mohicans, but he's a, he's like a, uh, his nickname's the goose. And we wondered if we could, you could like have a pet goose, which we assume you can. But if, if people use their dogs as emotional support dogs, is he like an emotional support goose? Six cups of water per box. Oh, Cup of milk. Do you have milk? Hmm? Do you have milk? No. <laughs> we got almond milk. That's not the same. It's not the same. It's going to work. That's what it's getting. <laughs> That's all I got. I'm trying to run to the store again. It's gonna be vanilla flavor. That's fine. Shoot about that. 
Right. Gigantic bowl here. Mr. Poole did a quick calculation. This is a KFC bowl is going to be roughly about 12,000 calories. So um, this is a uh, killer size bowl. This this would be reminiscent of what uh, KFC would give you your bowl in. So that's for size comparison. Got our pasta boiled up here, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and strain this out. Now this is, like I said, is seven boxes. And um, just this pan alone is pretty freaking handy. It's uh, pretty massive. Nice Get this strainer completely full to the brim. I guess I jumped the gun. I should have left this over here so that I could uh, put, it back in. put it back in here. So, flip this out. This over. And we got the, uh, not all of our noodles back in there. That big pot of noodles right there. So uh, let's go ahead and start uh, There's uh, more of that in the bottom drawer, I think. You got a uh, one stick of butter and uh, there's a there's a tub in there too. There's a uh, there's some in here too. Oh, there we go. Let's use that. Watch this other guy on YouTube. He does the uh, Ralph Baker. He's like one stick of blue baby. So, there's my homage to Ralph. Shout out to Ralph if he sees this. Two sticks of butter. Um, and then uh, the cheese product, Mr. Bull. The cheese product. You can't go wrong with cheese product. You know, you know I, I think the majority of people don't even realize that, like, Kraft Singles, it's not real cheese. It's delicious, right? It's not real cheese. It's cheese product. It's like imitation. Imitation. You know, like cheese, hardened cheese with Hardened cheese. Hardened cheese with yeah. Right. This, this stuff right here is very reminiscent, though, like when you uh, eat, like, Cheeto dust. Right? Like when you eat Cheetos or you eat cheese popcorn and it gets all over your fingers for Doritos. It's like powder exploding. I uh, I think we should challenge each other to the person to eat the most cheese products, no liquid, just yeah, like straight packs. out, like straight out of the package. You it's know, like what the mean? cinnamon challenge. Almost. Yeah. I don't even know if it's possible. Like, could you even swallow a bag of this? You can eat a container of uh, cinnamon, so probably. It sounds bad. It's not. I mean. The cinnamon challenge, isn't that like dangerous to you? Like die on that? Mm -hmm. Doesn't it like take your breath away or something? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Now before you kill me in the comments, I understand I don't have real milk and I realize that after I started preparing this episode, but uh, we're keeping the calories down. So this is going to be a uh, vanilla flavored, <laughs> vanilla flavored uh, macaroni and cheese. Just so you know, I was unaware that I didn't have milk. It was totally my fault. Could be fire, you never know. Put bacon bits on the top of that. Now that we got all of our ingredients in here, we're gonna go ahead and get the, our macaroni and cheese stirred up. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, shut the chicken off because it is finessed. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and pull that out because it's gonna burn if it just sits in there. Look at that, Mr. Pool. Look at it. And all you can do is look at it. That way that can start cooling down a little bit because it is going to be like molten effing lava. And uh, yeah, you never know. I mean, this seriously, like, this could be revolutionary. Like, vanilla, like, okay, do you know if you ever go to those soda machines and you can put like the flavor shot in it? I like a vanilla shot in my Diet Mountain Dew. So maybe this is like, maybe I'm on to something. Maybe we shouldn't even post this video. Cause you know what's gonna happen? Somebody's gonna steal it and get rich off of it. Probably. Isn't that how it always works? No matter what I do, come up with a good idea, see it on another channel. I'm like, oh, should've moved quicker, we should've moved quicker. And then I just throw the idea out because, you know. And uh, shout out to the uh, subscriber that uh, sponsored this challenge. You know who you are. 
Um, you do like to remain anonymous, but uh, I'll send you a personal thank you on uh, Instagram, and I hope that you uh, appreciate this, and I really do apologize for the delay. We had uh, some filming issues, then we had no place to film because the kitchen was in total disarray. Um, I can say, though, that the kitchen never lost function, but it wouldn't have made for a very appealing video, so we're doing it now. Now we got the... Uh, no, I can't tell you. Tastes like vanilla. You know. Does it? <laughs> yeah, it does. Now, I'll tell you what's not bad about that, though, because you know Mr. Pool will agree that the greatest ice cream is vanilla, so. Uh, not anyway. the case. All right, so here's this big, huge pot of macaroni and cheese. We're going to go ahead and uh, dump it in. Massive. And, uh, the best part, which is at the bottom, because it all sticks to the bottom, you know how it goes. Let's get this all scraped out. You don't want to miss any. As Randall Santel would say, leave no doubt. We want to make sure we uh, get every last morsel out of there. We don't want to cheat ourselves and not having enough weight. You know, not that uh, 12 pounds is anything to shy away from. Got some wheat. Got some wheat. All right, so. There you can see we got that out of there. That's soaking. Now we got our uh, so we got our base down of macaroni and cheese. It's already dense. Then we got all this delicious popcorn chicken or chicken tenders going in here. That. And uh, the uh, popcorn chicken macaroni bowl is uh, definitely got some uh, cheese on it, so we're going to go ahead and uh, not skimp on the cheese. We're going to go ahead and put some more of that on there, so bam. How's the skill going, Mr. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. Pounds! Pounds and ounces. Maybe I can register. Overload. Overload! What is the maximum like, on this thing? Probably like 12 pounds or something. Maximum capacity of this scale is 11 pounds and it was overloaded, so that tells you the thing is definitely in excess of 11 pounds. And okay, now in uh, killer fashion, you know I had to uh, kick it up a notch. These, uh, these say best if used by 9, 8 of 23. So I feel like I should probably use these bacon bits and I'm going to kick this up a notch. Put some bacon on because bacon makes everything better. All right, so uh, we went ahead and put this thing together. It's massive. It uh, weighs in excess of 11 pounds because the scale only goes to 11 pounds, so we know factually that it's more than 11. Um, if I was to guess, I would say it's probably about 13 pounds. So uh, I'm gonna let this thing cool down for a little bit, and uh, then we're gonna get into it. So we let this cool down here a little bit and I uh, got the big timer back there. Uh, I got to figure out a permanent solution for that with the new setup here. We got to figure that out. Uh, maybe I'll fake, maybe I'll get like a different style timer. I don't know. But uh, I let this cool down a little bit. We're going to go ahead and get into it. I got some uh, ketchup over here and a little bit of barbecue sauce just in case I want to spruce up this uh, macaroni and cheese because I do like uh, ketchup on my macaroni and cheese. Um, so without further ado, the world's largest mac and cheese bowl. In three, two, one. Mac and cheese. Now, this uh, really no way to go about this. You just gotta go at it. Lava. Man, it's warm. No, I did let it cool down a little bit, but I obviously can't let it cool down too much, and then it'd be like eating concrete. I just put little cats up on it. Get my vegetables in. Healthy fruits and vegetables, you know, ketchup. Did you know by a statistic, there's actually more sugar in a um, serving of ketchup than there is in a Dunkin' Donut? Back. <laughs> Facts makes the world go around. I get the new added sugar. <clears throat> that stuff's actually not that bad. 
Comment below. It's tangy. Yeah, comment below if you like the uh, no sugar added or just the old regular, full regular unleaded. This honey barbecue uh, chicken pieces from uh, Sam's Club is actually pretty good. So, bread and bone. Mozzarella stuff, good. Liquid hot magma. Look at that. And yeah, uh, I actually had a uh, subscriber message me the other day and asked me if we were planning on doing a New Year's resolution challenge 5.0. I actually think this would be the fourth year, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, I think I've talked to Mr. Poole about that yet. Because Mr. Poole's semi retired. Semi. And I only say semi because he does still do a uh, contest. He just doesn't really do challenges or much YouTube anymore. I don't have blood if you think Mr. Pool should come back. If we get more than, uh, let's say if we get more than 500 likes on this video, he has to bring back his channel. If we get more than 1,000 likes, he has to post two videos a week. I'd have to hire an editor for the summer. I don't have to have that. It's true, he does work a lot of hours in summer. <clears throat> Dude, if there was any moisture in this macaroni and cheese when I started, it's gone. I will say that the uh, vanilla flavor is pretty much almost nil and void. Oops. It has a little hint of sweetness, and I assume that that's probably what that is. But. Maybe you should have made a bowl. We could have sat here and do it. I forgot how big it makes some of these giant foods like you just eat, and you look down, and the bowl doesn't seem to change. Comment below what your favorite Jive Foods episode was. I've been some bangers. What about you, Mr. Bull? Favorite Jive Foods episode? Mm, well, no, Minus the 30 pound breakfast stuff, because we all know that thing was absolute fire. All I can say it was a good thing me and Mr. Bull were hungry that day. Ready a lot of it. I don't even know how much that thing I eat that day. A lot. I can tell you, I definitely would just buy those, like, chicken bites to eat. Like, I normally like, cook them for a normal meal. I'm not gonna lie, they're pretty good. I mean, the chicken. Or honey barbecue. Barbecue fire. going through and picking the chicken out because for some reason the chicken's not 
Like that hot, but the macaroni and cheese is like liquid magma. Fun fact, the subscriber sent me these big spoons. One more shot of this. <clears throat> I'm still finding chicken. Give her a little, little sauce, a little sauce rise. Barbecue on the barbecue chicken. I keep forgetting there was like three and a half pounds of chicken in there. It's actually a lot of chicken. Yeah, it's a plethora. Means a lot. <laughs> wow. Burning up here. Does that big ass lasagna count as a giant tuna, or does it just count as a whole lasagna? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, being that it was like, uh, <clears throat> I would say that thing was like 12 pounds, I think. It's pretty big. I would say, it was, I would say, it considered considered giant foods. I didn't make it though. You know, so I roast. You like lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's your pick. You pick anything you want. If it's been on giant food. But is it considered that giant food necessarily? Like I said, considering it's just like a whole. No, nah, I mean, I guess if it was a giant food, the lasagna would have been like 30 by 60. <laughs> like the size of the island. That's what we should do. <laughs> Team lasagna channel. The world's biggest lasagna. I think this might have been bigger than 13. <clears throat> Pretty heavy. <clears throat> Make sure I open this up. Don't want people to think I'm cheating. Whew. Doesn't help I got a heater blowing in on my back here.
1904. <laughs> All right, guys. So there you have it. The uh, world's largest mac and cheese bowl from KFC. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoy Giant Foods because it's back, Jack. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy the new kitchen. I do. I uh, Leave your comments and thoughts below. And uh, drop some comments on what you want to see next. Uh, I'm going to go take a nap because I'm burning up. Special thanks to the uh, subscriber that sponsored this challenge. I really apologize that it took so long to get it out. But uh, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it and eating it. It was delicious. Until next time, <clears throat> just go to KFC if you can still find this. But just get a single serving. Just don't. This is probably like 20 servings. Just get one. And take it easy. <laughs>